Remember to clean your tip. Nobody likes a dirty tip. So the first thing we're gonna have to do before we can weld the aluminum is actually get the welder set up. Unfortunately, I'm about to waste a bunch of wire because it sucks. Every time you change wire or uh, when you run out of wire, all the wire that's in the actual cable, is just garbage. So, just throwing away a bunch of wire right now. Oh well. So you're inside your welder. I'm going to take the tension off of there and let's see if I can get some pressure against this because I don't want it to unwind. I'm going to snip the wire right there. Put it through that hole and bend it back so that that can't unwind while this is not attached. So I'm just going to leave that center hole in there because it is going to go back in. Okay, so we need to grab the gun. Ooh, that's dirty. Clean my gun. So now you just pull that wire out. Oh, you guys can't see what I'm doing. Hey, look at all this garbage. <laughs> it sucks. So all that just gets thrown away. Uh, I'll probably keep it because maybe I'll use it for, I don't know, like tying a project up in the air so I can paint it or something. So I'll hold on to it for now. Okay, we need to attach power wire, detach this hose so that we can put the spool gun on. So this is the spool gun. Um, it's basically the same as the gun we just took off, um, except the spool of wire, instead of being on here, goes inside here. You got it there. So let's load the wire. Should be fairly easy. Never done it before. But still, should be pretty straightforward. I'm going to snip all that mess off that was tucked up on it because I need it to go through. That was a huge hassle, but it's in. keeps tension on this. Probably that spring. <laughs> that would be my guess is that spring is what keeps tension on. Okay, it wants you to feed that through before you put it in. Should have looked at this before. This is a lot easier than what I did. 
And it looks like that spring does need to go on that spool. Makes sense. That would help keep some pressure on that. Now we can turn it on. Should have power. Should be able to run this to actually run the wire out for us. Uh, should probably pull the tips off of it so that the wire can actually come through. Oh. Also, there's a switch in here. Uh, so there's a switch in here that goes between the MIG gun or the spool gun. Uh, because right now it's trying to spin that one and it's not sending any power to this. So, flip that over. That was weird, the light turned off at the same time. We'll flip that over. Should now turn this one. Hmm. It's not really working. Kind of seems like there's too much pressure on it. So let's pull this spring back off for a minute, see if that helps. So I don't just want the spool to unravel inside, so I kind of need some pressure on it. But right now it's not working, so let's just see what it does. Oh, oh my god. Speed too low? Aha! Speed's way too low. Okay. So when I'm welding steel with the MIG welder, uh, I like a really low speed and then I just change my heat depending on the thickness of whatever I am welding. Uh, so as you can see the last thing I welded was very thin because it's down on A and then if I'm welding thicker stuff it's up on C or D. I don't think I ever use B. Not sure. Can't remember the last time, if ever, that I used B. But it looks like the spool gun needs more speed to even move. Which, now that we've got the spring back on, I'll be happy with the pressure. Let's see what it does. There you go. Ooh, that's fast, though. We've got the wire out. Put, put the gun back together. Put the tip on it. And put the cover back on. Off the excess. No idea where it went. Okay, so that's all set up. Now we need to put uh, the canister of argon on there. So we'll close this back up. So we've got our canister here. Shout out to Humphreys Welding Supply in American Fork, Utah. If you guys are local to the area, they are really awesome to deal with, and that's where I always buy my gas from. So we got that secured on there. And we'll grab our regulator, get that hooked up. Grab Chris it. Got the machine turned around. You guys probably can't see numbers from there, but uh, normally when I'm welding steel, if I use gas, um, I've normally got it right around 18, 18 to 20 here. And what I've seen, uh, you need a bit more gas with aluminum. So I'll probably aim for about 22, somewhere in there. 
Let's turn it on and see where we get it to. I guess technically we're all good to go. Um, I might grab that scrap piece of tube just to practice a little bit because I've never done aluminum, as I've said a couple times. And I don't really want to practice on the very first one that I do with a part that matters. So, I'll grab that piece, I'll grab that table, get it set up over here, see how it lays down. So after a lot of messing around with the welder, um, I've done a lot of practicing. Um, it's actually the next day. Uh, that's how much practicing I did. Um, I'm, I've got the welds to the, the point that I'm pretty happy with how they're looking. Um, I can always grind back anything I don't really like. Um, I've got the heat turned all the way down. Uh, on the inside of the tubing, it does cause a little bit of uh, like a bubbling, um, not really sugaring to the point that, you know, if you're talking about make welding steel and stuff, uh, doesn't really cause it to the point where I would be that worried about it. But if I need to, I can always just take the Dremel uh, with a sanding disc to the inside and just clean that up because I don't want a big lump in the middle of the intake track, obviously. So, happy with it. So I'm going to start on the actual pieces now. Yeah, so if you guys don't look at anything either side of that part, it looks really good. So definitely gonna be using a grinder to clean that up. Um, but not horrible for my first time welding aluminum, but not great either. I know that this content has been a little different from what we normally do, but hopefully you guys like and subscribe, and we will have that mini intake being fabricated with aluminum very soon.